Welcome back all you beautiful boys and girls to another Far Cry New Dawn video. Today I'm going to be discussing how to quickly gear up without having to travel too far outside of prosperity. In about 15 minutes you're going to be able to get a pretty substantial amount of crafting supplies. The only two things I'm not going to be able to get you near prosperity are going to be carbon fiber, which obviously you need a complete outpost to do, and springs. And I'm going to show you a location that's pretty easy to travel to to get fish. It's going to be the salmon to get springs. You get 30 springs for each Chinook salmon you catch, so five of them. Pretty good amount of springs there. But first, let's get into the prosperity area. First off, I want to go over here to the workbench and show you guys what animals we're going to be looking for. First off, obviously, is going to be deer. You can hunt them with almost any weapon in the game. 30 duct tape apiece, carry 5 skins, 150 duct tape. Really good, easy to get, hunt deer as much as you can, even if you're just walking around the game, hunt deer. Secondly, I'm going to show you a location near Prosperity where you can find moose, and for 60 gears apiece, a moose is pretty good. And you're going to need probably at least a blue bow. You could probably take this with some of the stronger grayer weapons, but you're going to be chasing it a lot, and it's probably going to be a long fight. If you have a blue bow and you get at least the first headshot, then you will probably be able to take the moose down pretty easily. They are pretty strong, they have a lot of health, they don't really fight back that much, so I'm not really that worried about it. I think if you just have a blue bow and you're willing to run a little bit, you can get all the moose you need to get all the gears you need quickly. Next up is going to be black bears. Just throw bait for them and for 40 titanium for each skin, you don't even get that out of a safe. So that is a really good amount of titanium. And again, you can carry five skins, so that is a lot of titanium. You can also hunt wolves for titanium at 30 apiece, but I just prefer to go after the bears. Either way, you're throwing bait for it, so whatever shows up is what you're going to kill. If you get a wolf, you get a wolf. If you get a bear, you get a bear. But the bear is a little better, and I'd be looking for them. And that's the black bear, not the grizzly which grizzly's still worth 40, but you're going to be finding black bears in the prosperity area. Next up, we're going to be looking for the monster's bison. I'm going to show you a place really close to prosperity where you can almost always find monster's bison. And the 10 circuit boards a piece, if you take it with a bow, that's 20. You can't get that many circuit boards that quickly doing expeditions. Expeditions are fun, I love them, don't get me wrong, but I don't enjoy having to go on an expedition because there's a new gun I want. I just want to be able to quickly get my circuit boards, get in, get out, and be okay. And then finally, we're going to be looking for smallmouth bass at 30 components each. You can catch these things all day long, they're not hard to catch. And then of course, like I said, for springs, we're going to be looking for chunk salmon. So starting off here for the smallmouth bass, we're going to be going down to the boathouse, Prosperity's boathouse, and fish right off the dock there. That is all smallmouth bass in there. Catch five of them, get fully loaded up on them, take them back. For deer, you're just going to be all around the Prosperity area. Like I said, deer are everywhere in this game. They are not hard to find at all. Chances are, just doing the other things I'm talking about in this video, you will run across enough deer to get fully looted on deer. Then, for animals that you have to throw bait for, which is going to be cougars, black bears, and wolves, I like to go over to the old Yes Windmill over there that's fell down on the far west side of Prosperity. It's where I like to go because I think I get a better mix of animals that show up over there and just keep throwing bait until you get full of one type of animal. Don't waste your time standing there because you, if, you, you know, if you're full on black bear skins and black bears keep showing up, chances are you're going to keep getting black bears and you're just wasting your time because you can't even skin them and take it with you. And by the time you get back there, they'll be despawned. Once you get full of one type of animal skins, just leave. Then we have the monstrous bison, and this one's going to be the one that's going to put newer players out a little bit. He's actually not that hard to fight, especially if you have the spring perk that you get from New Eden. That will really help you jump out of his path 
and if you really time it right, you can take almost no damage. But if you only have blue level weapons, rank 2 weapons, he's going to be really hard to fight. You can take him pretty easily with purple weapons. Of course, I always suggest using a bow. They are one of the highest damage output weapons in the game. Plus, when you kill an animal with a bow, you get two skins instead of one. So it means way less work for you, and it'll make this process go a whole lot quicker. Next, I would always suggest you take the judge with you. The judge is really good for his perk that makes animals not attack you until you attack them. That means you can get super close to, say, the monstrous bison and take a really well-placed shot on him before he gets any damage on you. You don't just walk up to him and he starts attacking you, and it means you can get that 5,000 damage shot off on his weak spot, which of course is on his side and belly, before he even attacks you, which will put you way ahead of the game, especially if you are using a blue bow or anything lesser than a purple weapon. That's pretty much going to be it though. You get all those skins, you take them back, you sell them. It's a pretty substantial chunk of crafting materials. Really, it's just a super simple, super easy way. I can pretty much fully loot up on all those animals in about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how easy they are to find that at that particular time. And doing this one or two times, you know, you load up, you have all the supplies you could ever want. The only thing, like I said, you're going to be missing out on is carbon fiber and springs. Real quick though, there's a pond up north next to the filth gate that has the salmon you're looking for. And at 30 springs, you catch five of them, that's pretty decent. You can make any level one vehicle with just one trip there. Gold legendary vehicle may take you three or four trips but still that's a pretty good rate on getting springs I do suggest going up there right now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up if you enjoyed I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like down below and if you enjoy Far Cry 5 Far Cry New Dawn or anything in the Far Cry series why don't you go ahead and head on down click on my channel watch a few more videos and hey if you enjoy them click that subscribe button so you never miss another one once again, I really appreciate everything you guys do for me, and as always, have an absolutely wonderful day.